is DC Danton Crow Crusader. Um, this is the afternoon feeding. Uh, I'm afraid uh, I didn't get uh, the uh, video from this morning because oh, I had the photo on instead. So anyway, but uh, there was no Charlie. Didn't see Charlie, so. Oh, the seagulls here. Uh, I brought my camera along so that I could get uh, some decent photos up close in case the uh, red kites, hawks, appear. Because I really would love to get um, a still picture of that. And uh, you can't really switch. You have to switch your video off onto photo mode on the GoPro. And that doesn't really work. I hate to interrupt the video. So, I'm going, uh, it's very warm. And uh, I'm sure anyone who's walking by, but they're all busy. Uh, we have one more last day of shopping and then the stores close on Good Friday. And then they open on Saturday and then they're closed Sunday and Monday. So, and probably a lot of people are taking off um, for Easter or traveling. So I would assume some of those people are leaving today or tomorrow. Um, and of course, there are also people returning. Uh, children have to be back at school on Tuesday. Anyway, we'll see. Uh, we'll see who comes down here. We're kind of on a different schedule the last two, three days. I'm normally out here about 1:30, 2 o'clock, but now it's closer, getting closer to 4 o'clock. Um, but right now it seems to be quiet, and that's a good thing. So we'll see here. We have a couple of birdies right here. Um, I have no sausage, but I have Dino's, these little chicken nuggets for children that are low in salt. And they have no chemicals. And uh, yeah, so we'll put this down. Uh, not many birds here. Um, of course, we have the gardener there and we have people walking here. I don't seem to like those people. They flew away. But we'll, we'll put this down. And uh, looks like they finished all the food. All the food is finished. If we could only find, uh, if we could only find uh, Charlie, that would be great. That would be great. But that's not Charlie. None of those people are Charlie. <laughs> None of those crows are Charlie. Maybe I can get him down with the Dinos. Of course, we don't know where Charlie is. He could be out by the lake. He could be up there. We just don't know where he is. But we'll see. Uh, I'm going to put down a little grain over here. Um, some people were taking video. I'm sure they were taking video of me. So, what am I going to say? Happens every day. Uh, what's this here? I don't know what that is. Oh, maybe that's part of the, uh, the muesli that I put down earlier today. So, oh, that could be Charlie over there. Charlie, Charlie, good boy, Charlie. Good boy, Charlie. Let's see. Charlie, look. Look what I have for you, Charlie. Look, good boy. Look at little Charlie's here. Look, here. Here, good boy. Yeah, look at that Charlie. Good boy, Charlie. Good boy. Uh-huh, you don't trust Mama. Good boy. Is that me, good boy? Oh, he flew away. Oh. What's going on up there? There's a nest. There's a nest up there. Wow. You mean Charlie has a mate? Or is Charlie, uh... Charlotte? 
<laughs> no. I don't know, that looked like Charlie, but there was another bird on the nest and he flew right to that nest. I saw it with my own eyes. You mean to tell me that Charlie has a nest? You mean to tell me Charlie's a girl? No, can't be. Maybe that's not Charlie. There is another bird here who looks similar to Charlie, but I thought that was Charlie. Looked like Charlie to me. But um, you see when he saw the other bird on the nest, he went right down there. He went right over there and protected that area right there. So I don't know what to say. Maybe that's why we're not seeing Charlie. Uh, he actually gave up his dinos. He was just about to eat his little, his little uh, chicken tenders and then he, he left. But he's not sitting on the nest. Looks like he's just guarding the nest. So I have no idea. I have no idea. Maybe that's why he didn't quite respond to me when I said Charlie. Um, or, hey, it's very hard to tell the difference between a male and female crow. Very, very hard. Um, I don't know, but I did see Charlie fly up to that nest. So maybe that's not Charlie. Um, or something spooked him. But he did fly up there to, uh, to, to pr protect that nest and he looked like he wanted to eat his little chicken tenders, but then he walked away. So, could be there's a hawk. There's a hawk in the area. So, maybe that's why we're not seeing Charlie. He's guarding a nest. Maybe he has a mate now. We don't know. I'm going to uh, put down these little roasted peanuts in the shell. We'll put these down. You see there's no birds coming down, but unfortunately we have the gardeners over there by the Church of Latter-day Saints and they absolutely hate those guys. And uh, with good, good reason. So, yeah, we have a lot of people here gaffing don't like don't like what i'm doing but i don't really care okay just it's none of your business anyway i'm gonna go up and put some seed down and uh wow i don't know what to say usually charlie flies to the uh um to the uh to the shopping center so that could be that other bird which i always Imagine was female. She just seemed female, but she was, uh, how should I say, very tame, uh, very used to humans, and uh, and I. She's known me now about three years. I keep calling her her because somehow she just, to me, my inner self thinks that she's a female. I don't know how to say it. It's like the cat I rescued. Um, never had a cat before, but somehow I just knew it was a little girl. I just knew it. And, and the vet said it was, it was female cat. So, and by the way, the, uh, the little cat, um, kitty cat, which became which Brigitte named Mia, whose real name is Lola. Uh, I always knew that was a female also. Didn't have any proof, it just felt it. There's something in the character, um, the way the cat moves, and it's the same with this bird. So, she has a similar body shape to, um, oh, looks like someone threw something down here. Well, anyway, I'm going to put a little bit more out here. Could be Roy threw something down here for the little birds. He does have bird seed. And uh, I'm going to give him a five kilo bag along with a little Easter present um, in his little mailbox. Here we have the large gull. Ah, uh, there he is. He'll probably come down and get something. Well, Charlie's not coming down. And 
Wow, a lot of the crows are missing. Of course, it's late in the day. So, we'll just... Uh, someone over there, Migros, is, I don't know what they're doing, making noise. But, we'll see. Oh, that's unfortunate that I wasn't able to get the hawks. But, there's a few... Uh, few little good eats here and if they show up they'll have something good I think I'll save the the walnuts for later and uh, I'll save some of these uh, little dinos here for later and we'll put we'll put some out little cheese and little, more little nuts here and we'll see who comes down uh, but so far no Charlie no birds coming down zero Zero. The guys are using the uh, leaf blower over there. They don't like that. <sighs> well, it's always, uh, like I say, it's a very dynamic situation and it changes from hour to hour. We don't know who was on this field and scared the birds. And you see they're sitting up in the tree over there. And we have the, the gardener over here making a lot of noise and they have chased the birds in the past so uh, not good anyway um, sorry youtubers 